And we are live. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the January 4th organizational meeting of the East Hampton Town Board. Carol, would you please read the roll call? Councilwoman Burke Gonzalez. Present. Councilman Lease. Present. Councilwoman Overby. Here. Councilwoman Rogers. Present. Supervisor Vance Goyak. Present. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America, which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This morning, we will start with swearing in to the new terms, the various positions on the town board. Carol? Are we going to do you individually or all three at once? We, we've been sworn in. Yeah, we're going to do this ceremony. Okay. You can sit and raise your right hand. All together? If you like, Carol. However you want to do this. It's up to you. Okay. Why don't we start it individually? Okay. Peter, I'll do yours first. Raise your right hand. I, Peter Van Skoyak. I, Peter Van Skoyak. Do solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. That I support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of town supervisor. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of town supervisor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations for another Thank three years. Kathy? I, Kathy Burke Gonzalez. I, Kathy Burke Gonzalez. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of council person. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of council person. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you, Carol. Kate? I, Kate Rogers. I, Kate Rogers. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of council person. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of council person. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Carol. Thank you very much. At this point, I'd like to give the State of the Town Address for 2022. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Town Board Organizational Meeting for 2022, especially newly elected Board Member Kate Rogers and Kathy Burke Gonzalez, who begins a third term. It's my pleasure to serve again as your Town Supervisor, and I'm excited to work with this new Town Board on the many community issues and challenges that we face as a town. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused economic and human losses, supply chain issues, anxiety, fatigue, and frustration. I genuinely believe that the pandemic will wane and that someday soon we will be able to resume the activities that we must now avoid. In 2021, State of Town Address, I mentioned that there was hopeful news about the fight against COVID-19 as the FDA had approved two new vaccines. Since February of 2021, the town has provided residents with over 10,000 vaccinations at town facilities, resulting in East Hampton having among the highest rates of vaccination on Long Island. It is now known that the effectiveness of these vaccines wanes over time, and that it is of foremost importance to get booster shots to prevent serious illness or death from this insidious disease. The appearance of the Omicron variant has caused a sharp increase in the infection rates here and across the country. Over 1 million new cases were reported yesterday. This variant is vastly more contagious and is causing breakthrough cases in vaccinated individuals. Fortunately, serious COVID illness is rare in those who have been vaccinated. People who have received booster shots have the greatest chance of avoiding illness altogether. We will continue to provide access to COVID-19 booster vaccines as well as first doses 
And we have already scheduled town vaccinating clinics through February of 2022. Check your town website, ehamptonny.gov for the latest information or to sign up for alerts. Testing for the COVID-19 uh, illness is also remains a valuable tool in combating the spread of the, this disease. The town has provided access to testing since April of 2020 on town property through partnerships with various entities. Currently, Care One Concierge in conjunction with Prophase Laboratories is providing testing at the East Hampton Town Center for Humanity at 110 Stephen Ann's Path. Due to the surge in infection rate, flu and cold symptoms and holiday travel, testing resources here and elsewhere are in short supply. Traffic and wait times have forced us to relocate testing to the Stephen Hans Path location from Town Hall. We urge for everyone to be patient and thoughtful during this current surge. With the recent expiration of FAA grant assurances, we are finally able to address the longstanding issues of aircraft noise, traffic volume, and environmental impacts from aircraft at our airport. Our goal is to gain meaningful relief for the ever-growing multitude of people whose quality of life is negatively affected by aircraft noise. To further this goal, the town has conducted a series of public workshops and studies in 2021 to engage and inform both the public and the town board to better understand the benefits and detriments created by our airport. With the knowledge gained, we feel that the best approach is to transition to a private use airport, which will allow us to put in place restrictions that are specifically targeted to improve residents' quality of life and improve the environment by reducing emissions. We've been meeting regularly with FAA officials to better understand the mechanics of this transition. Our intention is to move to a prior permission required PPR model for our airport, which we believe will give the town the most flexibility in crafting restrictions that balance the needs of the entire community. We expect to begin this transition this winter so that new restrictions will be in place for the upcoming summer season. A dramatic rise in housing costs and declining inventory of year round rental properties is threatening to unravel the fabric of our community. Businesses, school districts, municipal governments are all struggling to hire and retain staff. Restaurants and other businesses are operating fewer days of the week, and commute times from more affordable areas are becoming unbearable. Our volunteer fire and ambulance emergency services are having trouble recruiting volunteers. East Hampton continues to lead Long Island in the number of affordable housing units per capita at over 600 but we also lead Long Island with the high cost of living and the highest poverty rate of any town in Suffolk County. I see the housing problem as one of the most serious and immediate threats to our well-being and sustainability of our community. Beginning in a meeting immediately, I'm announcing All Hands on Housing, an initiative to advance solutions to address the housing crisis as fast as possible. Each board member will be working on a specific aspect of this problem, development of the community housing fund plan, zoning changes, land acquisition, and project development. This will be the town's most significant housing effort to date and crucial to ensuring that we have people to police our streets, educate our youth, respond to emergencies, and provide services and continuity to the community. The town will be moving forward with plans to build affordable single family homes on 12 acres of town owned property at 395 Panago Road, we will also begin planning for a rental apartment project at the former Tryon Baptist Church site on Route 114 in Wayne Scott. There are several other building projects that are slated to get underway this year. The East Hampton Town Planning Board recently approved the long-awaited Stony Brook Southampton Hospital Satellite Emergency Department, which is to break ground in the first quarter of this year, adjacent to the East Hampton Healthcare Center on the Panago Ball Fields. The town will be constructing two new ball fields at the town recreational property at Stephen Hens Path. The hospital will be contributing $1.75 million for the construction of the new ball fields in exchange for the long-term lease of the Pandago site. Town committees selected these locations several years ago as part of multi-year feasibility review, which considered multiple locations for these projects. Town board recently purchased property next to the town owned Terry King ball field as the site for construction of a new senior center. 
This is also the culmination of multi-year search for a property large enough and well situated for the senior community center. We have hired an architectural firm, an engineering firm, who will conduct a public engagement process to fully assess the needs of seniors and the community to better inform the design of the center. We're extremely excited about this project as it will be the first net zero building project undertaken by the town. The new center, which will produce as much energy as it uses, will be in alignment with our climate crisis declaration and sustainability goals. On the renewable energy front, there are several milestones to report. First, environmental review and issuance of permits for the South Fork Wind project have been completed, clearing the way for construction to begin later this month. We will monitor the onshore portion of the project to ensure consistency with the environmental management and construction plan and the conditions the town has imposed in our agreements with the project sponsor. In 2021, the town entered into a project to a power purchase agreement for a solar array on the roof of the town's parks department, which combined with the battery energy storage system, in addition to the estimated $10,000 in annual energy cost savings, this system will provide clean backup power at town hall in the event of power outages. We received $300,000 grant from NIPA for this project, which is the first municipal project of its type in New York State. We're also planning additional EV charging infrastructure on the town hall campus, which will support our transition from fossil fuel powered fleet vehicles to electric and electric hybrid vehicles consistent with our energy, our climate emergency declaration and new vehicle acquisition policies. This charging infrastructure will also be available to town residents. Townwide LED street lighting upgrades are planned for 2022 as part of our ongoing effort to reduce energy consumption and achieve cost savings. We're partnering again with New York Power Authority to help us complete this project. And on December 21st, Governor Hochul signed legislation that clears the way for Long Island towns to participate in community choice aggregation. We will now be able to choose the source or blend of sources of electricity we consume. This will allow consumers to participate more directly in the energy marketplace. By choosing renewable energy, we expand the demand and encourage the growth of renewable energy production, helping us transition away from pollution, from the pollution and climate impacts of fossil fuels. This is another way in which we can effectuate meaningful progress towards a cleaner, greener future. We're pleased to have recently hired Jeremy Samuelson as director of the East Hampton Town Planning Department. Jeremy's in-depth knowledge of the town and the issues we face will bring renewed focus and energy to one of the most important departments. Long-term long planning initiatives such as addressing sea level rise and coastal erosion through our Coastal Assessment and Resiliency Plan, known as CARP, as well as the town's Hamlet studies and the downtown Montauk Community Wastewater Treatment will be among the list of pro top priorities for 2022. The town's finances are currently in excellent shape. Despite significant unbudgeted expenses in 2020, largely in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we were able to meet those financial challenges because of healthy fund balances. Moody's Rating Service again gave East Hampton its highest bond rating, triple A, in 2021. <clears throat> Through careful cons and conservative budgeting, we have met our budgetary targets and stayed below the 2% tax cap for 2021. It is important to note that our community has experienced significant growth in year round residency in the last few years. And with this growth, increasing demands for services. Increasing expenses coupled with greater demand for services means that we must raise additional revenue to maintain infrastructure, provide services, and maintain our quality of life. We will be looking at ways to increase non-tax revenue to help balance the necessary future increases in property taxes. This month, we will be reviewing and update the three-year capital plan, which will prioritize bonding for purchase of vehicles, machinery, construction projects such as ball fields, the new senior center and affordable housing, and other infrastructure improvements. 
We've worked hard to provide the very best in services to the community, none of which would be possible without our dedicated employees. We negotiated and settled all four collective bargaining agreements in 2021 with contracts that reflect fair and competitive wages. I am honored to have been reelected to another term as the town supervisor by the people of East Hampton. I'm very fortunate to be able to serve with such an outstanding group of public servants, my fellow board members, Sylvia Overby, Kathy Burt Gonzalez, David Lees, and I'm excited to have Kate Rogers now join us on the board. Kate's environmental and sustainability expertise, coupled with her, with her work ethic and positive demeanor, will be a refreshing and welcome addition. I want to give a special thank you to our town employees and my personal staff who together with us keep our local government functioning well. In closing, 2021 has been a difficult year. The COVID-19 pandemic has infected millions of Americans and caused a loss of over 800,000 lives in the US. It has brought about some of the greatest challenges in many generations. And as we continue to confront challenges in the year ahead, it is the resiliency and the depth of caring of our community that truly makes East Hampton such a special place. I feel honored and blessed to be the supervisor of a town which comes together to support those in need, gathers to rebuke hatred, seeks to protect its environment, honors its history, and celebrates its diversity. We can rise to any challenge as long as we respect each other and work together for the common good. So let us work together for a better world and a happier new year in 2022. Thank you and everyone, please stay well. At this point, we have resolutions to offer. Kathy, would you like to begin? Please, thank you. So starting with resolution 2022-1, sets the town board meeting dates for 2022. Work sessions are the first, second, and third Tuesday of the month and they begin at 11 a.m. And our regular meetings are the first Thursday of the month at 2 p.m. and the third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. 2022-2 authorizes the annual agreement to spend highway funds for the calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. 2022-3 uh, is uh, authorizes and empowers the superintendent of highways to purchase tools, equipment, replacement parts, and repair to mach machinery to the sum of $2,500 without prior approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-4 sets the snow removal rates for $30 per hour for the highway department for the year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-5 appoints three deputy town clerks, Kyle Vorpal, Lynn Overton, and Paula Guanga. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-6 appoints Carol Brennan, Registrar of Vital Statistics, appoints Paula Guanga, Deputy Register of Vital Statistics, and appoints Lynn Overton and Kyle Vorpal, Sub-Registrars of Vital Statistics. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-7 appoints John Jolnicki as the Town Attorney. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. 2022-8 appoints David McMaster, Nancy Marshall, and Jennifer Nigro as assistant town attorneys for the calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. 2022-9 appoints Rebecca Hansen, budget officer for the 2022 calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I pass and carry. 2022 10 reappoints Robert Ortman to the East Hampton Town Licensing Review Board for a term of five years expiring December 31st, 2026. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022 11 appoints Robert Ortman chair of the East Hampton Licensing Review, Review Board for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 
2022-12 reappoints Fran Donovan to a four-year term to the Board of Ethics, appoints Reverend William Hoffman to the unexpired term of Reverend Dennis Brunel, said term expiring 12-31-2023, and reappoints Jeannie Carosa to a four-year term as the employee member of the Board of Ethics. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-13 appoints Hugh King Jr. as the chairperson of the Board of Ethics for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-14 authorizes the town bookkeeping office to make payment for such real property taxes as may be due or become due and payable upon properties owned by or acquired by the town of, town of East Hampton. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass. Carry. 2015 authorizes agreements with outside agencies for the calendar year 2022. And I'd like to read the list so that folks know where their hard-earned tax dollars are going. Uh, RSVP, which is the Retired Senior Volunteer Program, $5,000 grant. Family Service League, $50,000. Montauk Nutrition Program, $120,000. Project Most, $85,000. Community Council, $2,500. Southampton Wellness Program, $6,000. Southwark Community Health Initiative, $27,500. The Retreat, $15,000. East End Disabilities Group, $5,000. Meals on Wheels, $20,000. Phoenix House, $50,000. Springs Food Pantry, $25,000. East End Hospice, $15,000. Pediatric Dental Fund, $500. Montauk Youth, $5,000. Eleanor Whitmore Early Childhood Program, $175,000. I Try Program, $5,000. East End Special Players, $15,000. And the Montauk Village Association Improvement, uh, $10,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. 2022-16 is to appoint the Montauk Playhouse Community Center Board of Managers for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-17 appoints the Disability Advisory Board members for 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. 2022-18 appoints the 2022 East Hampton Sag Harbor CAC members. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. 2022-19 is to appoint members to the Senior Center Building Committee for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. I would like to offer resolution 2022-20. This is the investment of town monies for 2022 uh, pursuant to section two of the general municipal law to make temporary investments to the town money is not required for immediate expenditure in the terms uh, in items set forth in said section two as enumerated in the town's investment policy. For this purpose, the supervisor may use any bank, trust, company, or municipal cooperative investment pool authorized to do business in the state of New York. I have a second. Okay. Second. Sylvia, are you muted? Second. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass. Carry. 2022-21 is the uh, point uh, Deputy Superintendent of Highways for 2022, Rob Green Jr. for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. 2022-22 is the risk management and insurance coverage for 2022. Resolve the Epic Insurance Brokers and Consultants. Uh, has hereby retained perform various consultant services, connection, and administrative risk management and placement of insurance coverage for the town of East Hampton for year 2022 at a cost of $20,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-23 is a set 2022 compensation for various part-time recreational department employees retroactive to January 1st, 2022. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-24, salaries for the ARB, Planning Board, ZBA, LRB, Licensing Review Board, excuse me, and Assessment Review Board for 2022. Uh, for the ARB, the chairperson receives $9,551, vice chair $6,898, 
three members at $5,518. The licensing review board chair received $6,090. Uh, the members receive four members receives three thousand six hundred fifty five dollars. Planning board chair receives fourteen thousand six hundred thirty one dollars. Vice chair ten thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars. Five members receive eight thousand one hundred sixty one dollars. The zoning board of appeals chair receives fourteen thousand six hundred thirty one dollars. Vice chair ten thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars. Three members receive eight thousand one hundred sixty one dollars. An assessment review board, three members receive $2,208. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-25 is a designation of depositories for town funds for 2022. Um, they will be the People's United Bank, Dime Community Bank, and J.P. Morgan Chase. The investment of reserves as required by a deficit funding requirement in 2022 will be the Bank of New York. Second. It'd be 2020, but I don't know. Maybe it was 2020. Never mind. Uh, does that as need to be as amended? It has to be amended to 2022. Uh, it's all for that as amended for 2022. Do we have second. a second as amended? Second as amended. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carried. Resolution 2022-26 is facsimile signature for use on checks. Resolve that the supervisor is authorized to use a facsimile signature on all town checks for the calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-27 designates the town office hours. The offices of the town hall and its annexes shall be open from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, excluding holidays, including lunch hours. And let it be further that with respect to the town clerk's office, the following office hours will be observed, excluding holidays, East Hampton, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-28 is to set 2022 compensation for part-time, for various part-time Marine Patrol employees, retroactive to January 1st, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed and carried. 2022-29, it appoints a Deputy Superintendent of Fires for 2022 to be David Brown, hereby appointed uh, for calendar year 2022, and no compensation to act in the absence of the supervisor. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-30 is a cleaning allowance for the fire marshal on harbors and docks for the calendar year 2022 in the amount of $450. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-31 is the point Nature Preserve Committee members for 2022. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carried. Resolution 2022-32 to appoint Fisheries Advisory Committee members for calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carried. Resolution 2022-33 is appoint Slips Committee's members for calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carried. Resolution 2022-34 is to appoint the Wildlife Management Advisory Committee members for calendar year 2022 with Kate Rogers being the liaison. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. Resolution 2022-35 is to appoint members of the Little League Ball Field Relocation Committee for calendar year 2022. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. Aye. Resolution 2022-36 to appoint members of the Waterfront Advisory Committee for 2022, uh, Ramesh Das, Chairperson, and Kate Rogers, the liaison. Second. All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. 2022-37 is the point. Uh, Montauk Citizens Advisory Committee members for calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carry. Thank you. Resolution 2022-38 is recyclable to be separated by self-haulers. 
And there's a whole list of the recyclables. Please go to the website to see how you are to um, uh, separate your recyclables. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carried. Resolution 2022-39 is to adopt um, the fee schedule for B Town of East Hampton Landfill. Again, those will be on the website. Um, so please go to the website to see the charges and the fees for those items. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carried. Resolution 2022-40 is Commissioner of Public Works and Director of Sanitation. This resolves that Stephen Lynch is hereby appointed to serve as Commissioner of Public Works and Director of Sanitation uh, for the calendar year 20 uh, for the calendar year of 2022 at 25,500. Um, and all employees within the department shall be answerable and work under his supervision. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution. Resolution 2022-41 is to appoint Bruce Bates, Emergency Preparedness Coordinator for 2022, and to appoint John Kent Howie as Assistant Emergency Preparedness uh, Coordinator for 2022. Bruce Bates for the calendar year will get an annual salary of $22,440. And John Kent Howie is um, as the Assistant Emergency Preparedness Coordinator receives an annual salary of $9,742. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-42 is to appoint town historian uh, Hugh King Jr. Uh, for the calendar year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-43 is to appoint town crier, also Hugh King Jr., um, for the calendar year uh, 2022 at no compensation. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Jerry. Resolution 2022-44 is petty cash um, and the, the uh, funds for petty cash. And there are various funds uh, for all departments, and it's listed again on the website for a total of $4,905 would be in petty cash at the various departments. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carry. Resolution 2022-45 is utility payments in advance of audits. Um, resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to pay utility, public utility, and postage charges in advance of town board uh, audit in accordance with provisions of section 118 of town law. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass the carry. Resolution 2022-46 is the Purchasing Policy and procedural Procedures Manual um, for 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Resolution 2022-47 is the Annual Association of, du of Towns Dues for 2022. Um, the town dues will be $1,950 for the year. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-48 is to set 2022 compensation for non-union and appointed officials. And there is, again, a long list of those employees. Second. One in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-49 is to set 2022 compensation for department heads. And again, there is a list of um the names their department and their salaries second all in favor aye aye, aye. that's carried resolution 2022 50 is to appoint east hampton arts council members for 2022 second. all in favor aye aye aye, aye. that's carried resolution 2022 51 is to appoint energy sustainability committee 2022, and I know that Kate Rose will be the liaison for that committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-58 is to appoint anti-bias task force members for 2022. Second. Is that a resolution 52? That's resolution 52. Yes. Second. All in 
in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, pass. Carried. Resolution 2022-53 is to appoint the Community Housing and Opportunity Fund Advisory Board members. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carried. Resolution 2022-54 is to appoint business committee members for 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carried. 2022-55 is to appoint Wayne Scott Citizens Advisory Committee members for 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Okay. Um, the first resolution I have is 2022-56. Uh, and that is to, uh, that resolves that Hawkins, Delafield, and Wood will be designated as bond council for the town of East Hampton for 2022 and to be used as town board and budget office deems appropriate on various bond and debt matters involving the town. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. Next is resolution 2022-57. <clears throat> Uh, for uh, that resolves the financial officer, the firm of Capital Markets LLC, to be designated as the financial advisor to the town to the town for 2022 on various matters such as debt issuance, loan assistance, compilation and distribution of financial information related to the town and other activities deemed appropriate by the town board and the budget officer. Second, budget officer. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-58 uh, designates the annual compensation of elected officials in the town of East Hampton, and it fixes the amounts for the year 22, fixes the amounts of supervisor, 118,075, town clerk, 99,534, town justices, two at 85,752,000 each, superintendent of highways at 99,500 $54 council persons for each at uh, 73,000, not uh, 798,000 chair board of assessors uh, and uh, at 94,712, two assessors each at 85,524, the clerk of the trustees at $24,138, the assistant clerks two, at $20,093, and the other six trustees at $8,553. Second. All favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Resolution 2022-59 uh, sets the East Hampton Star as the official newspaper for the town for the year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-60 is to retain demographic services, justice court, and Spanish language interpreters, um, and that the uh, elected justices of the town, town are hereby authorized to obtain stenographic services in 2022 for transcripts of cases held in the town justice court at $275 per diem rate of compensation and $100 for transcripts for weekends and partial day agreements, and that they are authorized to obtain Spanish language interpreters as needed for court appearances held in the town at a cost of $125 per half day, $75 per session per weekend arrangements, and, and an amount not to exceed $200 and $25 per full day. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. 2022-61 is resolves the for submission of the state controller's report, and it resolves that the supervisor shall submit to the town clerk within 60 days after the close of the fiscal year, a copy of the report to the state controller required by section 30 of the general municipal law and the town clerk shall cause a summary of such report to be published within 10 days after receipt thereof in a form approved by the state controller in the official newspaper and in other such newspapers as the town board may direct. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 
2022-62 sets the mileage reimbursement for use of own car. And uh, that rate, um, I don't see it in the, uh, let me just, the resolution. I'll summarize the resolution. Um, uh, town uh, officials, uh, supervisor, justices, council persons, assessor, town clerk, using their own vehicles for social official business or duties when a pool car is not available, may present town vouchers for travel mileage at the rate currently approved by the Internal Revenue Service. All other employees must receive prior approval from their department head and may only be compensated for such use when a town vehicle is not available. Other travel related expenses such as parking, ferry tolls, et cetera, will be reimbursed upon submission of written receipts and a travel reimbursement for form, form. Local travel is defined as non-overnight travel for town business purposes other than training conferences and seminars, which is addressed in a separate policy within the Long Island, New York metro area, and that a mileage log must accompany all vouchers. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. 2022-63 is authorizes travel to various locations to inspect used equipment a highway department and uh, it um, authorizes uh, Steve Lynch and fleet manager John Lester to travel to inspect used equipment through auction, federal surplus, used vehicle suppliers, and such equipment is often available at low prices. Um, and I believe that is uh, any further is available on the uh, town board of uh, the town website. Second. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Fast and carry. Number uh, 202264 is uh, authorizes 2022 Police Department activities um, and the following activities and pro programs and personnel be, and they are hereby approved for the calendar year 2020. Did DWI blood tests to be administered by locally affiliated nurses for DWI arrests at the rate of $175 per test, employment of seasonal and part-time employees to be employed at the following hourly rate of pay, seasonal and part-time police officers first year, $26.50, seasonal and part-time police officers second year, $28, part-time school crossing guards, $20. Training conferences upon the recommendation of the police chief supervisor or deputy supervisor may authorize personnel under the command of the police department to attend training conferences, seminars, workshops, or schools for training to the person's job and cash, cash advances may be issued for the same to cover certain expenses of said trainings according to the PBA contract. The training sessions under recommendation of the chief of police supervisor or deputy supervisor may engage the services of persons to conduct training conferences, seminars, workshops, or sessions for the purpose of instructing police personnel in specific areas pertaining to their profession. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-65 appoints the Fort Hill Cemetery trustee member, Kenneth Yardley, um, is reappointed to the Fort Hill Cemetery Board of Trustees through 12-21-2026. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-66 is for the appointment of Fort Hill Cemetery Board of Trustees chairperson, and it resolves that John McDonald is appointed as chairperson of the Fort, Pond, uh, Fort Hill Cemetery Board of Trustees for the year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-67 sets the town investment policy, and it uh, is a um, in-depth resolution that sets the scope, objectives, delegation of authority for the uh, investment policy for the year 2022. The uh, entire resolution is on the um, town uh, clerk website. And um, I offer it for um, passing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Let's see what's next. And 
resolution 2022-68 sets the travel and reimbursement policy for town employees. Again, um, it, it resolves that all travel requiring an overnight stay or reimbursement for meals must be approved in advance by resolution of the town board. Um, all supporting documents must be submitted out of town travel for training and meetings that do not require overnight travel or meal reimbursement may be authorized by department heads in writing. Such authorization shall state the specific purposes and costs for such travel and approve the cost of registration and use of a town vehicle or mileage reimbursement for the mileage reimbursement policy only when a town vehicle is not available. Written approvals from department heads should be maintained in department files for three years and be attached to any voucher or request for mileage reimbursement. It also goes on to set the rest of the policy and it is available on the townclerk.com website. We have a second. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Pass and carry. <clears throat> the next resolution, 2022-69, is again for travel and reimbursement policy for vendors. And it is resolved that the following travel expense and reimbursement policy is hereby established for outside contractors, consultants, and vendors. Expenses will be reimbursed only in those instances were authorized by resolution of the town board and included in the contract for services. Again, it sets for, forth all the details and it is available on the town website. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Fast and carried. Resolution 2022-70 is approval of uh, compensation 2022 annual stipends. And this is compensation that's approved for employees, officials designated with additional duties. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carry. Resolution 2022-71 sets 2022 compensation for part, all part-time employees uh, with their hourly rates. And the list, again, is available on the uh, town uh, website. Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. And uh, my last resolution is 2022-72 which appoints the 2022 Springs Advisory Committee, of which I am the liaison. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I passed and carry. Resolution 2022-73 is to appoint Deputy Supervisor Ketney Burke Gonzalez for the calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carried. Resolution 74 is to appoint ARB members. Frank Guitar is hereby appointed to the Architectural Review Board for a five year term expiring December 31st, 2026. And Kathleen Cunningham is hereby appointed to Architectural Review Board to fill the unexpired term of Betsy Petrowski. Said term uh, will be to expire on December 31st, 2024. Kathleen Cunningham is also appointed to the chair of that board. Uh, second and second. Aye and aye. Aye aye. Paul. <laughs> aye. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see. That brings us up to the next one, which I kind of jumped the gun on. Which <laughs> 75. It's ARB chair Kathleen Cunningham pointed to chair of the ARB for. That, that was the second I. <laughs> and that was the second I. Well, let's just make it official and count the number. I. Aye. Aye. Favor, aye. Pass and carry. Aye. Aye. Resolution 76 is to appoint Vice Chair of the Architectural Review Board Esperanza Le uh, Leon for the calendar year of 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 77 is to appoint Planning Board Member Michael Hansen for a seven year term expiring December 31st. Of Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carry. Resolution 78 is to appoint Planning Board Chair Samuel Kramer for the calendar year of 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass carry. Resolution 79 is to appoint Planning Board Vice Chair for 2022 Ian Calder Piedmont. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass to carry. Resolution 80 is to appoint Zoning Board of Appeals members. Terry Berger is hereby reappointed to Zoning Board of Appeals. 
four or five year term expiring December 31st, 2026. And Denise Savarese is hereby appointed to fill the unexpired term of John Whelan, said term expiring 12 31 2024. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Resolution 2022-81 is to appoint zoning board chair, uh, uh, appeals chair. Uh, so, uh, that's Frank Deline for the calendar year 2022. Wrong. I'm sorry, Roy. Wrong Deline. Brother. Sorry, Roy. Yeah. Uh, we so second. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. 82 is to appoint zoning board Appeals Vice Chair, and that's Ed Johan for the calendar year 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carried. Resolution 2022-83 is to appoint the 2022 Montauk Beach Preservation Committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Resolution 2022-84 is to appoint the 2022 Water Quality Technical Advisory Committee members. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Resolution 2022-85 is to appoint the 2022 Coastal Assessment and Resiliency Plan Committee. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Carried. Resolution 86 is to appoint the 2022 Town Property Management Committee. For Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Resolution 87 is to appoint the 2022 Montauk Wastewater Committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Resolution 88 is to appoint the 2022 Wireless Communications Committee members. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-89 is to appoint the 2022 Amagansett Citizens Advisory Committee members. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass and carry. Resolution 2022-90 is to appoint Andy Harris to the Waterfront Advisory Committee. Second. That's over a five-year term expiring December 31st, 2026. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed and carried. Resolution 91 is to schedule a special meeting for January 5th, 2022. Resolved special meeting is hereby scheduled to be held on Wednesday, January 5th at 1 p.m. via teleconference for the purpose of executive session to receive advice of counsel on matters related to East Hampton Airport. Second. Ticker. Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Are there any other resolutions to offer? Yeah. I do not. Do we have any items that we need to discuss in exec session today? I case, have no items, yeah. I want to wish everyone well. Stay safe during this current surge, which I think will probably wane within the next couple of weeks, as uh, has happened in the past. Um, I'm confident that we're, we're over the hump here shortly and that things will improve as the weather warms again. And uh, hopefully this will be the last episode of COVID and the pandemic will be relegated to the ash bin of history. And uh, I look forward to serving with all of you in this new year. I'm very excited about our, our new board and about the number of really uh, important issues that we will be addressing the challenges ahead. Um, I know that uh, with renewed energy and enthusiasm and working with our community that we will be able to make great strides towards completing the many projects and initiatives that we are taking on in the new year. So I wish everyone uh, all the best in a happier 2022. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Welcome, Kate. Uh, entertain a motion to close. Yeah. Motion to close and happy new year to everyone. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed and carried. Thanks very much.